This is Twit. We have some very special guests. These are teenagers that I met at a field day, and they were running around in a solar car. And I'm like, what is going on? Well, I found out. It was the Pena High School, Pena, Illinois, Central Illinois, uh, and they had built a solar car. And I want to introduce them to you. Uh, yeah, there's the, there's the website. Let's do that real quick. We'll run through it. Uh, this is an incredible thing that they have been doing all year. So uh, let's uh, let's go in and, and and see all of them. First of all, uh, we have Connor. And by the way, there most of them are hams. Connor is KD nine LKA. Hi, Connor. And Howdy Luke up. is KD nine LAT. And then we have Caitlin KD nine KTG. And Jessica, Jessica, who is the navigator, and uh, she's just studying up. So hello to all of you and welcome here to Ham Nation. Uh, we want to know just a whole lot about what you've been doing. It's part of it, uh, the STEM uh, science and technology engineering mathematics program. So Luke, why don't you take off and tell us a little bit about how it started and what you're doing and what's going to happen tomorrow. Sure thing. Uh, well, as you already said, we're the Pena Solar Car team, and um, we started this program back in November of 2017. And before this program, we had two programs called Moon Buggy and Sea Perch. Moon Buggy was more of a mechanical program where we built a, a rover powered by a female and a male, and we took it down to Huntsville, Alabama at the NASA Flight Marshall Center. And uh, we raced it against 90 high school and colleges t teams. And that was very mechanically involved uh, with mechanical schematics and such. And uh, Sea Perch, uh, with Connor and Caitlin, uh, they were on that. And they were actually national champs uh, that it involved building uh, underwater uh, ro robots, RV robots, uh, to be navigated through obstacles. And uh, we kind of meshed those together uh, with the the technical and the electrical parts of Sea Perch and the mechanical parts of Moon Buggy and constructed this solar car. Uh, and we'll be racing it from Fort Worth, Texas, all the way to Palmdale, California, starting oh. July 17th. Wow. So all the way through the desert, seven days. Uh, we're going to be camping at least three of the nights. Uh, and we're going to leave tomorrow morning to head to Arkansas, and that's a stop. And then we'll head our way to Texas on the 13th. And then after that is a lot of meetings and three days of scrutineering, which is a, a play on words of scrutinize and engineering, where they take our mechanical drawings that you can see in the top left corner and our electrical schematics and make sure they relate back to the car and uh, to make sure we're safe and it'll be able to conduct itself as an actual vehicle on the road. And uh, wow. we're excited. When we saw we saw a great picture. I think that might have been Caitlin and one of them welding. Uh, you guys and gals have done everything. There is no uh, engineering firm coming. You've done it all, haven't you, Caitlin? We've built it from the ground up. Well, wow. uh, we start. We started with a golf cart. Uh, we used its leaf spring brackets and its uh, shock absorbable uh, terminal uh, towers and it's a differential uh, trans axle. Uh, but we found out the motor was burnt and the motor controller was burnt up, so we had to replace those. And uh, we based a lot of our designs off of a, a, a golf cart. And we just, we just took chromoly steel, which is about 30,000 in thickness, a square inch. Uh, and we, we expanded the, the, the wheelbase by 13 inches. We, cut, we pretty much cut a golf cart in half really fundamentally wow. and uh, that's what really got us started and then what what propelled us to this state is uh, of having a finished car is Trina Solar's donation uh, they oh, no uh, high-tech solar up in Michigan City and they gave us Trina solar panels and uh, we were really grateful for that that's that's what really got us started and uh, these guys can tell you more about uh, sponsorship in the building process because I've done enough for talking <laughs> well, I I understand that uh, your uh, your mother has got her ham license also. Is that was that uh, is that true, Luke? She, she did it because uh, she's going to be one of the lead cars. Uh, well, no, chase. She's going to be a chase car, and we have to have part of the 
parameters of the solar car challenge is you have to use ham, ra uh, not ham radio, but just radio communications. And this also explains how we're involved with ham radio and amateur operations. Uh, we all had a got our, we got, most teams are probably going to be operated on the family channel. And there's 17 high school teams we're going to be competing against. And there's only about 16 channels on the family channel. And it's going to get crowded quite fast. So that's why we decided to pursue to get uh, our tech, technical license, Connor and I. But uh, Caitlin, she moved on to her general license. Uh, so we All have right. more freedom of the frequencies. Yeah, that's but, wonderful. Congratulations on that. That'll be wonderful. And uh, I look forward to hearing so much more about this. Now, one of the things we need to talk about is you guys, you, you've kind of stood the brunt of all the bees and so on we need to, to have people go to the uh, the site and perhaps uh, add a little money to the coffers uh, where would they do that how can we uh, uh, contribute to the, uh, the 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 team right there please okay well you have one of two options uh, you can uh, well right now since we do leave tomorrow the that will be a post donation from for, for next year of this trip uh, but Instantly, we have a. Caitlin could tell you about the GoFundMe account. We have a GoFundMe on GoFundMe. It's just called uh, the Paint a Solar Car Trip. So you can go there and you can donate. It's been up for quite a few months. But actually, recently, we just got a $1,000 donation from Invenergy, which we're super grateful for. It's going to help us a lot. But as Lucas said, we, uh, we leave tomorrow, so there's not really any way that you guys can help us anymore. But we are going to continue the program next year, so that'll be used for next year's program. Oh, also, we'll get there's on our a site, our weekly site, where you can donate. We'll get on a little early on that deal. That'll be great, and uh, make it happen. And if uh, if anybody's interested, there's a great site. It's solarcarchallenge.org. Solarcarchallenge.org, and uh, this will give you some insight of what's going on. This is a big deal. Because uh, how many uh, how many uh, uh, schools are involved in this, Lucas? Uh, Seventeen in total. Uh, for in three different divisions, we got uh, classic, uh, and then advanced, and then we have the solar car vehicle project, which they're going to they're allowed to use. It's a two person uh, pilot piloted vehicle where they they have permission to use lithium ion batteries and more efficient panels. And they also get to charge their propulsion batteries, unlike it's, we. It's meant to be more of a actual, like simulating, like a having a Tesla. Is yeah, what they're basically doing on the that division. It's, they're basically yeah. building a Tesla without all the fancy features. And more, we're more of a race car. Uh, we're newbies, yeah. so we don't get to be special. <laughs> Well, I'm just so excited to have met you and to know you, and we're going to follow you up. We'll we'll, we'll get you on here a little more because it sounds like uh, you're always involved in things, and that's really really cool. So, Jessica, make sure they stay on the right <laughs> the right route. <laughs> and you guys, uh, uh, let me know what's happening once in a while. If well, you get a time, you, you've got my phone number. Give me a call. And I'm really excited to hear how it's all going. And when it's all over, you have uh, you have the seat and the camera right back here. We want to know how it all went. So uh, we want to close for now. Is there anything final that you'd like to tell us? If you'd like to follow us during the race, we will have a media coordinator. Her name is Trinity Carlisle. She can't go with us, unfortunately, because of her health. But she's going to be updating our Weebly site daily, and you can see pictures and posts of how we're doing and the race and such. That site, yeah. We also have a Facebook page that you guys can like uh, that we're going to be uploading. Either it's going to be live uh, updates or it's just going to be uh, just uploads of vlogs okay. of every single day. It's called the Pena Solar Car Team. And that's just a quick like, and you'll get our notifications. And uh, that's pretty easy. Good. Well, congratulations, you guys. We're really, really proud of you. And uh, I wish you luck. I, I do hope that uh, that you come home with uh, the, the big accolades and a trophy. <laughs> Thanks so Thank much to the Pena Solar Car Challenge team. What some incredible people.